Today I will discuss about how to convert spherical cylinder power into contact lens power. Now steps of conversion. Step 1. Make a optical cross and distribute the power meridian wise. Step 2. Convert spectacle power into contact lens power in each meridian using the formula SP divided by 1 minus SP multiplied by BD. Here SP is equal to spectacle power and BD is equal to vertex distance in meter. Step 3. Convert the optical cross into spherical cylindrical form to get final contact lens power. Now step 1. Let's take an example for understanding purpose. Our spherical cylindrical power is minus five with minus three at 180 degree axis. Now let's make a optical cross and distribute the power in meridian wise. Here minus five is spherical power, so it will be in both meridian. Here in minus five and here also minus five, and minus three at 180 degree, so the power will be here in vertical meridian minus three. In vertical meridian, we have total power minus eight, and in horizontal meridian, we have total power minus five. Now let's move to step two. If we convert the spectacle power minus five into contact lens power using the formula SP divided by one minus SP multiplied by vertex distance, then it becomes minus five divided by one minus minus five multiplied by zero point zero one two. Most common vertex distance is 12 mm, and if we convert it into meter, it becomes 0.012 meter. Now minus 5 divided by 1 minus minus 0.06, or minus 5 divided by 1 plus 0.06, or minus 5 divided by 1.06. which is equal to 4.716 or 4.75 diopter now if we convert minus 5 into contact lens power it will become minus 4.75 and again if we follow the same formula for minus 8 it will become minus 7.25 diopter now in horizontal meridian we have contact lens power minus 4.75 and in vertical meridian we have contact lens power minus 7.25 Now let's move to step three. Now let's consider horizontal meridian as spherical meridian and vertical as a cylinder meridian. So in horizontal meridian we have minus four point seven five, so our spherical power will be minus four point seven five. As spherical power present in all meridian same, so we need to subtract the spherical power from cylindrical meridian also. So in the cylindrical meridian we will have final power. Minus seven point two five minus minus four point seven five, or minus two point five zero diopter cylinder. The final spherical cylinder contact lens power will be minus four point seven five spherical minus two point five zero cylinder at one eighty degree axis. So initially our spherical cylindrical power was minus five with minus three at one eighty degree axis. After converting into contact lens power, it becomes minus 4.75 spherical with minus 2.50 cylinder at 180 degree axis. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.